In this lecture, we'll see how we can make use of Swagger utility to generate beautiful API documentation in ASP.NET Core Web APIs application. The first thing that we need to do is create a new project and the template for that will be ASP.NET Core Web application. Select that and click next. Here you need to give it a name and then provide the location for it. And after that, click on create. Now here you will get the templates like empty API web application, web application with a model view controller, a razor class library, Angular, React, or ReactJS and Redux. Here what you need to do is select the API and you can just disable configure HTTPS. After selecting this, click on create. And this is going to create a sample web API based project. Here you can see we have the values controller with all these post and get, put, delete API calls. Now, in order to integrate Swagger or Swashbuckle, what we need to do is go to Core Web API, click on, right click on that, and then choose Manage NuGet Packages. Go to the Browse tab, and here, after typing Swashbuckle, you will see this option coming up. Make sure that the version is 5.0.0 and then click on install and you can see it is now installing it for this particular web api project click on ok i accept and once that is installed we need to go to startup.cs and here inside the configure services method we'll add the swagger as well and this is the syntax to add swagger so we say services dot add swagger generator then swagger dot swagger doc you can specify a version and then we have open api info and we can give it a name my api or we can say web api now after that we need to add the swagger middleware and for that we will have to so here we are saying app.use swagger and then app.use swagger ui and this should come before app.use mvc and to be on the safer side we can just take it to the top now that's done now let's save this and run it now and there you go we have swagger installed you can see that swagger automatically detects all the apis that we have in our controllers so here is the values controller and this is containing all these methods get post get put and delete let's click on get and here you can see it's generating the responses and description then the media type you have over here an example value schema our example value toggle is there then we have post over here with different request body and then we have the responses same goes with put and delete and you can see that we don't have to do much in order to generate this beautiful documentation